In this video I will explain you what soil texture is and how you can determine soil texture in the garden. So stick around to see two simple methods that will let you know what type of soil you have. So let's get started. To make it short, soil texture is a soil classification to make you know what percentage of clay, silt and sand you have in your soil. And to have a good fertile soil you need to have loam as a soil type. This type of soil is good because it retains nutrients and water well while still allowing excess water to drain away. The soil texture of loam is composed mostly by sand and silt particles and a little bit of clay. Ideally you would like to have 40% of sand, 40% of silt and 20% of clay. And how do you know what you have and how to amend it? I will tell you right away. First, I will tell you the fastest test that you can do without any tool in your garden. But if you want to do a more accurate test, follow me until the end to see it in action. You begin by collecting some soil samples from your garden. I collected three soil types to better show you the difference. The first sample was from the compost pile I used to amend my clay soil. As you can see, it's fluffy and loose and it has some small rocks inside. Your first step is to wet your soil if it's not already wet and knead it until it feels like play dough. Then roll it into a bowl. If the soil is sandy, the bowl can be formed, but if the soil has the right amount of silt and clay, the bowl can be easily formed. As you can see, all my three types of soil perform almost the same. Next, you take a small amount of soil and wet it in the palm of your hand. The second sample for my test was from the topsoil. As you can see, the soil is almost silk smooth from digging the soil up. Also, the soil is stickier to the touch. When you're dissolving the soil in your hand, feel for stone particles. Does it feel like sugar, sand or flour? Try to remember all these feelings and observations that you have. The third part of the test is to make a ribbon from the soil you knead into a bowl. My last sample was from two feet under the topsoil. I know that there is a clay layer there. As you can see, the soil is looking like a piece of metal. It's sticky and grey. So when kneading the soil in your hand, try to make a ribbon out of it and let it fall from your hand. When you see that the soil is breaking, let it. The length of the ribbon will tell you the third clue in determining your soil texture. The shorter the ribbon, the more sand there is. As you can see from my clay soil test, the ribbon didn't even break. And now that you have all the clues, you can determine what soil type you have. I will leave you an infographic in the description so you can follow it and determine your soil texture. So let's go to the second test to determine your soil texture, that takes more time but in my opinion is simpler to make and can give you a great result. Maybe you already heard about it. The jar soil test. All you need is a cylindrical jar and some water and of course the soil from your garden. The first step is to dig a good amount of soil from your garden. Preferably from a few different spots and mix it together. Then add the soil to the jar and fill it with water but leave an inch or so of air inside. Now mix the jar vigorously so all the soil can mix well and then let it sit so the soil parts can settle down. The sand that has the biggest particles and thus is the heavier falls first. Usually it takes a few seconds to see the sand layer. After an hour or so the silt layer appears because it's lighter than sand but heavier than clay. Clay usually takes longer so let it overnight to settle. The next day my jar had 5 layers. The top layer is the organic material floating on the top of the water solution layer. At the bottom are the 3 most important layers in determining your soil texture. From the top is the clay, then silt and sand layer. To know what percentage of each you have, you simply measure the height of the one and divide by the height of the 3 combined. Or you can use a simple calculator that I will leave in the description down below. Here are some before and after shots of my soil texture. 
What do you think? Did I made a good job in amending my soil? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. If you want to know more about gardening, make sure to subscribe and if you liked the video, press the like button. Like always, I will see you next Thursday with another informative video about gardening. See you next week!